What's up, what's up, what's up? Thank you guys for tuning in to Sportshead Radio. I'm going to give you guys my picks for the Midwest region. Now, the number one seed in the Midwest region is the North Carolina Tar Heels. And they're playing against the 16-seeded seed, Iona. This is pretty much no contest. North Carolina definitely should win this game by double digits. It's it's pretty self-explanatory. So, this is obviously a guaranteed win for them. Now the next game, we have an eight versus a nine matchup. Now, in my personal opinion, I think I think this could be one of the best first round matchups of this tournament. We have the eight seeded Utah, uh, Utah State versus the number nine seeded team, Washington Huskies. Now, with the Washington Huskies, they're actually in the top thirty in terms of defensive efficiency. With that being said. I like Utah State to win a close game. We have the fifth seed Auburn Tigers who are riding pretty high in winning the SEC tournament, conference tournament, and they're playing against the 12th seeded New Mexico State Aggies. Now, this, I believe, is a potential upset alert, but I I have to go with Auburn in a close game because I just love their guard play in this game. But Auburn, they're actually in the top 15 in offensive efficiency. New Mexico State's actually in the top 10 in offensive efficiency. So they're not that far off. New Mexico is in the top five in effective possession ratio. So that's very key. But with that being said, I like Auburn in a very close game. This could be this should be a very entertaining game. Now for the next matchup, we have Kansas, the number four seeded team versus the 13 seeded Northeastern squad. Again, this is another potential upset alert. I like Kansas in a close game. But it wouldn't surprise me if Northeastern won this matchup. Uh, Kansas, they're kind of struggling. They, they lost Ozabuki for the year, obviously. Uh, LeGerald Vick, he just he left the program, one of their top scorers. But I, this Kansas team is pretty resilient. And I think they will beat Northeastern in a close game, the, what pe- closer more than what people expect. I like Kansas to win. Okay, let's get to the 6 and 11 matchup. We have Iowa State playing against Ohio State, which is the 11th seeded team. This Iowa State team is riding high. They won the Big 12 Conference Championship. They're pretty well on offense. They're actually in the top 20 in offensive efficiency and playing against Ohio State team, which um, they have their moments. But I just like this Iowa State team. They're riding high. And don't be surprised if this team can make a deep run based on their offense. I I really like this team. So I like Iowa State uh, winning pretty, pretty much by double digits against Ohio State. Now, the next matchup, we have the three-seeded Houston Cougars versus the 14-seeded team, Georgia State. Now, this can be a potential upset alert with Georgia State. This this Houston Cougars team is pretty much underrated, and they're actually top 30 in the country in offensive efficiency. Uh, This team is a very sneaky team that could get to the Final Four. But I have Houston winning this game by at least five or six points over this Georgia State team, which is a pretty solid ball club. Houston wins and advances. Okay, let's get to the seven versus 10 matchup. We have the seventh seed uh, Wofford versus the 10th seed at Seton Hall. Now the Seton Hall team is very gritty, but they lack perimeter shooting with this team. Now with Wofford, they're probably one of the most e- efficient teams that not a lot of people are talking about. And this is this is one of the teams you have to watch for in terms, they're in my potential Cinderella watch with Buffalo. But if you look at Wofford, they're 12th in the country in points per game. They're third in the country in offensive efficiency. Third in the country. They're number two in the country in three-point percentage, which is the best team in the tournament. They're ranked fourth in the country in effective field goal percentage. And they're in the top 30 in the country in effective possession ratio. This team is pretty efficient in terms of uh, taking care of the basketball and their offense. I like Wofford big over Seton Hall. Now, for the 2-15 and matchup, we have Kentucky versus Abilene Christian. Kentucky, they they faced a tough loss against Tennessee, a very close loss in the SEC uh, Conference Tournament. And they're playing against Abilene Christian. Abilene Christian, is uh, they can shoot the ball, but Kentucky should blow them out. Kentucky wins big. Thank you guys for tuning in to Sportshead Radio. Guys, go ahead and click and subscribe to the Space Entertainment Network. Go ahead and follow them on Instagram at the Space Entertainment Network. You guys, go ahead and follow me at Sportshead Radio on Twitter, Instagram, and on SoundCloud for the latest podcast and more in-depth 
uh, analysis on the, on the SoundCloud. And you guys, thank you guys for tuning in here on Sportshead Radio. For more predictions and insight, click on the links below. Woo, 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 woo.